ITRAC focuses on humanitarian aid in conflict zones. We are trying to make the aid workers more secure when they are moving around. We are also trying to make uh, deliveries more secure, especially when we are sending convoys of aid to conflict zones. Over the past 10 years, there are more and more crises, and there are mainly anthropogenic crises. The number of aid workers who lost their lives is increased exponentially. We are facing very complex threats, and we have to operate in that difficult situation because we are talking about saving lives and livelihood of millions and millions of people. The ITRAC system comprises of many components. There are tracking components on the field. Uh, uh, there are threat detection components. Um, there's other components to create missions, to follow missions, warehouse components where codes can be scanned that no goods get lost. The mobile phones that we use with the so-called StaffSense app, where communication over secure channels can take place. So in a sense, the system balances two different things. One is to keep the people safe in the field, and the other one is to get the goods to the right location. So it was the first time where we actually took the technologies out of a lab setting and where also we put the developers themselves in a position where they had to use their own apps. And that gives a very different understanding of the technologies that they were developing. Uh, John T, you're the delivery manager. Uh, you will receive a phone 01 and the radio. Hi, you are the driver one. Today I was a convoy leader. A lot of the things are supposed to be elements of surprise to see how would they interact with the technology, how user-friendly is it, how useful is it. So unless we test it like this, we wouldn't quite know. Can we check what you're carrying in the cars, please? Yes, am I allowed to get off? So we try to replicate situations that uh, have threats, dangers uh, happening to a mission where they have to be rerouted. Delta India, all oh, there is a possible threat, please do not leave yet. There is a riot on Christian Hugenweg. We should uh, use Suit Plant Zone to the north. And then Failing of the system, so communication was not possible, and many others that replicate uh, real situations that typical missions would encounter in the field. What we were trying to do here was actually bring in some of the elements of the complexity of the world that these people work in so that our technology that we develop here is relevant to them. Um, it's all too easy to forget about that and pretend that you're in a safe and secure and nice environment, but actually the environment isn't safe and secure and nice. It's very nasty and complex and difficult. We had um, both people from the humanitarian organizations here as well as the developers of the systems. It meant that every time when we ran a mission, we could immediately do a debrief, go back to the developers. They would then develop a new version, which would be loaded for, say, the mission of the next afternoon. And then we could immediately test during the week whether that was more effective or more efficient. And perhaps you may need to see some more information about them. Yeah. You can go to Monad's threats. And uh, what we need to do actually is yeah. the iTrack system uh, allows also for encryption and decryption of the information because security of communications is very vital. You need to make sure that you identify what the potential risks to privacy are and to ethics. By ethics we mean things like the concept of autonomy, uh, justice, non-discrimination, a lot of the kind of notions you would find in human rights documents. Probably the other thing that is really unique is that it's modular. So if an organization doesn't want to have a particular component for whichever reason, they can take it off and yet the system would operate. So this is the manual system. Mm -hmm. So we are translating this manual system into a digital form. Yeah. So a truck driver would take this and it has all the details that how many rice pies, what is the origin. So this is what is currently in place and iTrack is going to replace this system with, with the, the digital. digital thing. So you don't need a paper. Right, right. That's, that's another challenge because the, the new technology comes with a price. And right. if you have resources to invest that much. When humanitarian organizations typically try to channel as much of the money as possible to get goods delivered to people who are in need. There's a lot of hesitation to even bring just a smartphone into some of the regions. So there is a lot of risks that also can be associated with the technology, but at the same time there are important benefits to be gained. And with this demonstration we wanted to show what 
The ITREC system can bring to the table to improve the work of the humanitarians that are on the ground so that it's not just seen as something scary and some innovation that happens somewhere at a university but that really can concretely address some of the problems that the people are actually facing and then eventually help with their work practices.